All week we are highlighting important financial topics to help you and anchor Todd Quinones is here live in the studio with another Good With Money segment. Yeah, it's going to be a really interesting week, Dana. Thank you. But today our Good With Money topic is financial struggles for military families. Of course, we have a lot right here in the Valley with the military bases in our region. And Sheena Parrish is an accredited financial counselor. She is also the special programs manager with the Association for Financial Counseling and Planning and Education. Thank you so much for being here. Our military families, as you know, they, they give so much for their service and their sacrifice. Uh, but one of the areas that they struggle the most with is, of course, financially, especially post-military life. Why is that? It's just a huge transition. I mean, as a military spouse myself, um, you know, currently my husband is active duty and it's hard to imagine, you know, transitioning out of the military lifestyle. And I've worked with a lot of military families as a financial counselor over the years. And uh, it's just a big change in life. There's all these new decisions to make. Where are they going to work? What kinds of benefits and entitlements do they have to replace that they had with the military that they're going to have to find in the private sector? Um, where are they going to live? There are cost of living implications with that. So these are all things that they have to think about and plan for. Yeah, it's a big decision. It's also why a lot of military families that I know, they decide to stay in the military. Well, they love it, but also they think about the idea of leaving and they realize the challenges and say, you know what, I'm going to ride this out. Um, what are some of the uh, options that are available? What are some of the programs out there that maybe they don't know about that could help them through that transition? Well, I think some of the, the biggest things that they need to take advantage of is, is the transition assistance program that they can get um, as they're preparing for their separation or retirement. So taking advantage of those resources that they get at their military installation. So in this case, in, in Las Vegas, Nellis Air Force Base has yes. a lot of qualified people who are there to support them through that change and help them you know, plan and, and get as, as much uh, prepared for the process as possible. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to it. Now, what are some of the biggest mistakes that you see uh, people making through this, through this process and others? I think it's really hard when they're, when they're still in the military to manage the transition aspect with the responsibilities that they still have with right. their current job. So I think that's kind of a struggle that a lot of people have in terms of balancing, you know, managing their current priorities with their, their transition. So I just encourage people to take the time to, to really take advantage of the resources and, and give it as much planning time as possible. Do you find the military families are aware of these programs and they, do they take advantage of them, what is that culture like? Yeah, I, I think it's it's gotten better and better over the years from what I've seen. Um, the resources have improved, the the time that the whole transition assistance program is given has improved so much. And so yeah, it's just on it's on our military members to make sure that they're prioritizing their needs and, and taking full advantage. All right, so what is some of the advice that you'd give a military vet to actually begin mapping out that process? Say they have, you know, three, four years left in their military active service and they're thinking, I definitely want to get out. What should they start doing right now? That's the case. From a financial perspective, you know, any financial goal really starts with a budget. So taking a look at, you know, a good hard look at your finances. Where has your money been going? Sometimes I encourage people to track their spending over the past three months, see what their, their trends are. Do they have any spending leaks? Um, we tend to call them. So where is money sort of escaping the budget that they don't realize and how can they redirect that to um, some of their goals? Maybe it's saving and developing a really uh, strong emergency fund before they get out. Out, or you know, planning for retirement in terms of you know starting to contribute to a retirement account. I think yeah. the the budget is the first the first place to start. And also sometimes the, the hardest place to start as well. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sheena Parrish, thank you so much for your time and thank, thank you for you. your husband's service and thank you for your sacrifice as well as all military families do sacrifice for this country. Thank Sheena, you. thank you so much. Dana, back to you. All right, yeah, good information there. Thanks, Todd. Well, our Good With Money segment is sponsored by our 13 Connects partners at Subaru of Las Vegas and America First Credit Union. And again, you can check out ktnv.com slash goodwithmoney for many other financial topics that could help you.